Let's discuss what is nucleosa model. Two molecules of H4 histone protein forms a homodimers. Subsequently, two molecules of H3 histone protein forms a homodimers. The homodimers of the H3 and H4 histone protein bounds to each other to form a tetramer. Now, one molecule of H2A histone protein bounds to H2B histone protein to form a heterodimer. Subsequently, one more such heterodimer is formed. These heterodimers go and bind to the tetramer and forms an octamer structure which is called as nucleosum core. Nucleosum core has positively charged amino acids and hence, it also has a positive charge on it. DNA is negatively charged due to the presence of phosphate group in nucleotides. Due to opposite charges, the DNA wound around the nucleosum core. Approximately 200 base pair long DNA helix is wound around one nucleosum, out of which 146 base pair long segment of DNA remains present in each nucleosum, and the remainder serves as DNA linker between nucleosum. H1 histone protein helps DNA to enter and leave the nucleosum core. Now we will talk about histone proteins. They are of five types, namely H1, H3, H4, H2A, and H2B. They are rich in arginine and lysine. These are the properties of different types of histone proteins. Both H3 and H4 histone proteins are nearly identical in amino acid sequences in all eukaryotes. Hence, they play somewhat similar role in all eukaryotes. It has been conserved through evolution. For example, in the H4 histones of peas and cows, only two of the 102 amino acid residues differ, and only eight differ between the H4 histones of humans and yeast. Whereas histones such as H1, H2A, and H2B show less sequence similarity among eukaryotes. Each type of histone has a tendency to undergo enzymatic modifications, such as methylation, acetylation, ADP ribosylation, phosphorylation, glycosylation, Sumoylation or ubiquitination, which can probably affect its net electric charge, shape, but structural and functional properties of histones, as well as of the chromatin. An experiment on Saccharomyces cerevisiae was performed, where point mutations or deletions of basic amino acid was observed within the N-terminal tail and removal of N-terminal tail domain from H3 and H4 lead to an increase or decrease in the transcription of a specific gene which indicates enzymatic modifications occurs in N-terminal tails and plays a major role in regulation of transcription. When nucleus was observed under an electron microscope, many nucleosomes were seen to be repeatedly present, which gives it a beads-on-string appearance, which is of 10 nanometer in length. Six such nucleosome gets coiled to make a turn, resulting in solenoid structure formation which looks like a coiled telephone wire. It is 30 nanometer in diameter, which is 300 armstrong. These solenoid structure is further organized into loops by binding of the nucleosome at a and T-rich regions that is scaffold-associated region SARS of the DNA. These loops are further coiled during mitosis due to which the chromosomes condense and become visible.